everybody and welcome to Facebook Live. We made it. Thank you so very, very much for joining me. Let's come on down and have the seat as we usually do. All right. Welcome. So good to see you. Now, here we are on Facebook Live, but if you're following this video on YouTube, you have found me. I'm Yogi Cecily on YouTube. Now, all of these live classes are donation-based, so I always just am so grateful for the donations. Looks like folks are enjoying the workout, so I'm just going to keep it coming. I'm just going to keep it going. But if you want to make a donation, you can find me on Venmo at Cecily-Guest, that's C-E-C-I-L-Y-G-U-E-S-T, like a guest in your home. All right. How's it going? I hope we're hanging in there. Again, this class is live in the moment, but of course, if you look at it at a later date, it will be the first week after the 4th of July. We are still dealing with COVID-19. So what do we do? What do we do? Well, we always practice safety first. Try to keep your distance and be mindful be mindful. So we're wearing the masks. Okay, that's a good idea. But you know, also keep doing the washing the hands, uh, keep uh, using different things that help you not have to touch uh, door handles. Keep your distance away from other people. Isn't that the thing? I mean, you know, stay away from, you know, almost treat it as if you had um, armpit odor. <laughs> If you had armpit odor, you know, you would you would keep your distance from people just because you wouldn't want them to know that. So think of it as the same sort of thing, right? Now for today's practice, I want to start a little differently. We're going to face the right side and back all the way back onto the left side of the mat. So we're going to back, back up this way. And I still have my right foot in front. So you're on the back of your mat, right foot in front. Place your hands back behind your hips, fingertips pointed back, and press your ribs forward and up. Then take a big, 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 long walk forward, bow your forehead down. So we go back and forth, four more. Hands back, look at the way I push my ribs forward. Inhale and then exhale out. You see that? And hands back, almost rocking, rocking my body forward, even though I'm lifting the ribs up. Mm -hmm. And walk it out, walk it out, way, way, way. And again, see how I keep the ribs down. Use the hands, then push the ribs up and back. Exhale forward, way out, way out, way out. And once more, back. Now I'm gonna stay with the hands back. Lace your fingertips. Open your throat, send your chin forward. Then fold over and raise the arms over the head. Raise your arms up, five. Pull your belly button to your spine, four. Keep raising the arms, three. Keep raising your arms, squeeze, squeeze, up, up, two, up, up, and one. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, good. Sitting back. All right. Hold on to the back of your thighs. Go ahead and straighten both legs. Oh, that feels good. That feels great. And bend straight. Legs forward, fold. That feels awesome. Exhale. Again, bend in. Hold on to the back of the thighs. Straighten your legs. Work on it. Work on it. You got to work on it. And then bend and forward fold. Will we just get better and better and better at going into deep forward folds? You know, if you're practicing regularly, and that is the key, is regular practice, things get better. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. So much deeper. Let's do, let's do one more, just one more. Legs up and out, inhale. Uh-huh. Exhale, forward fold. It's going to happen that you're going to go so deep that you'll need to separate your legs because your head's going to go all the way down inside the knees. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Well, now let's cross the left ankle in front. 
Mm -hmm. Hands back, push the ribs up. Listen, if you have trouble, if you have trouble getting into this position, look at how I'm pushing up off of the floor so that my ribs go forward before they go up and back and then walk out, walk out. The tighter you are in this position, right? The more you have to push up with your arms. Up, inhale, exhale, walk out way, 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 way out. Again, and back, inhale, look at the arch in back, look for the ribs forward. That's the one you want. Exhale, walk out, walk out, walk out. Yeah, 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 and back, look up, look up, inhale, good, and exhale, forward, wave, look at the hands, wave forward, forehead, far down, and one more, take it back, yes, and forward, folding over the bent knees, way down. So, so good. All right, legs out in front, straight legs, arms up and forward fold. Mm -hmm. And again, arms up, forward fold. Really drawing down deeply tonight. Arms up and forward fold. Mm -hmm. And once more here, arms up. You notice when my arms go up, I try to send my ribs forward. That's the secret. And forward fold. Great. Legs out straight in front and roll back. Lift your head four times. The boat pose, Navasana. Up. Yeah. And out, inhale, arms down. Exhale, up. Mm, mm. So good, so good. And back, inhale. Again, exhale, up. Keep your legs straight, keep your legs straight. <laughs> and back, inhale. And one more, up. You're gonna hold onto your ankles, hold onto your ankles, draw up. Draw up, gorgeous, beautiful, and down. Cross the right leg, go in front of the left, jump back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Excellent. Now we're gonna be jumping, jumping to the center. We're gonna jump and cross the left ankle in front of the right. Roll back, roll forward, jump back. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, inhale. And downward dog. I'm going to do this two more. So you got to jump, have a seat with the right ankle in the front. Then jump, roll back, roll forward, jump, chaturanga, upward facing dog, inhale. You got it, downward dog, exhale. No one said it'd be easy though. And cross with the left ankle in the front, jump, cross, roll back, roll forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, and nice downward dog. Now we're gonna stay on the back of the mat here. Bend your knees to all fours. Come up for camel. Mm -hmm. Left hand back, camel. It's a twisted camel, twist. Now turn your gaze towards the ceiling. And it's a rabbit's pose, top of the head down. Lace the hands over your back, squeeze. And we'll do it again, but on the left side, come up for camel. Mm -hmm. The left arm is gonna go up and the right hand is gonna go back. So first I'm looking away from you to the right. Then I'm gonna spin the gaze and even out the chest and the ribs are looking straight up. Then the rabbit's pose. Head down. Lace the fingertips over your back. Squeeze it. Great. And again, hands down. Press up. Twisting towards me. Right hand up. Left hand down. You see? Well, twist. And in this twist, you might as well look at the floor. Yeah. 
and then and then take your gaze and roll your ribs so now you're looking at the sky. Yep. And the rabbit's pose. Top of the head down. Take the breath. Squeeze the arms up. Sure. Sure. We got just one more of both of these. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Nice opening. Big, big opening. Big time opening. Right hand down, left arm up. You got to twist away from you. Might as well look at the floor behind you. Yeah. And then spin. Then you have to flatten out your ribs and open and look at the wall and the floor behind you. Great, great. Downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Nice. So good, so good. Well, from here, yes, you're going to step your right foot just halfway forward. Halfway. Push that back. It's Parjvotanasana. Now lean into the right foot and lift the left leg. Left hand's gonna grab the left foot. Lift the knee up, 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 up. Kick out, jump up, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, and downward dog, exhale. Listen carefully, you see? See, your hamstrings are really open when you can step halfway in and then push back, Parjvottanasana. Mm -hmm. See that? And then you're going to rock forward, lift the left leg, lift the right leg, sorry. Take your right arm back, right hand, holds onto the right ankle, lift the knee, then both hands to the floor, kick out, jump up, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, and down dog. You want to do it again. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. Step your right foot to the middle of your mat. Push back, Parjvottanasana. Rock forward, lift the left leg. Left ankle into your left hand, squeeze. Then lift the knee. Both hands down. Kick out, jump up. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Inhale, down dog, exhale. Last one, last one. Step the left foot halfway forward. Push back. I'm going to try to leave my fingertips forward. Push back. Parjvottanasana. Rock forward. Lift the right leg. Put your right foot in your right hand. Squeeze, lift the knee. Hands out, kick out, kick up, jump out, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward dog. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, you did it. Great. Bend your knees to all fours. Step the right foot forward. Mm -hmm. Sit all the way back on your left knee. Mm -hmm. Sit all the way back on your left foot. Great. We're going to go into what's going to feel like half of a camel's pose. You're going to push your body up and back into a back bend. So push your body up and back. So it's a crescent lunge, but look at this foot and try to leave this foot stepped in. Twisted, twist towards me. Look down and back. Then both arms back again. Three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Nice. Bend your knees to all fours. Step the left foot forward. Sit back on the right foot. Breathe. Push up. Lean back. Be back, back, back into the right. Mm -hmm. Then square out. Take both hands back, back, back. And downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Well, walk your hands back to your feet, please. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Mm -hmm. Hands on your hips. Right foot back, it's the dancer's pose. Nasamajasa. Right hand back, right foot. Up, 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 five. Foot. Listen carefully to the cues. Four, three, hold on to your right foot. Two, while your left hand 
finds the floor. Stretch, 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 stretch. Yes, it's a left leg hamstring stretch, it is. Yes, it is. Hands to the floor. You're gonna walk out until your left knee comes down. Then drop your chest, modify chin balance. Up, 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 up goes the right leg. High, high, up goes the right leg. High, three, high, two, and one. Flatten down, good, push up, cobra, or upward dog. Downward dog, nice. Nice. Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand all the way up inhaling. Mm -hmm. Hands on your hips. Okay, we'll still back bending, so we're doing it. So we're doing back bending. Not from a jostle of the dancer's pose. We'll go for the inside grip. Lift up and out. Hold on to the left foot while your right hand finds the floor. Three. Two and one. Stretch, stretch, stretch up. Good. Hands down. You know, you see me take this little hop, yeah, because I want to put the right knee down. It's a modified chin balance. Come on, lean down into it. And your left leg is up high, straight up vertical to the sky. Three, two, and one. Flatten out. Now you see I turn my face sideways so I can talk to you, but the idea is that your chin is now upward facing dog and downward facing dog. So, 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 so good. All right, nice. Walk your feet all the way to the center, both feet to the center. It's the chair pose. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Up. Stand all the way up, inhaling, and hand on your hips. Nice. Right knee high to the front. Mm -hmm. Right leg straight to the front. Mm -hmm. Lace hands behind your back, warrior three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hands to the floor. Jump up, kick out, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, and again, you can do all those things, downward dog, it takes. Of course you can, walk your feet to the center, walk in, look at the flat hands, good, stand all the way up and heel, hands on your hips, left knee up, left leg straight, lace hands back, swing back, warrior three, a fall. Hands to the floor. Jump up, kick out, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Yes, 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 down dog, exhale. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely, lovely. Bend your knees all the way down to the mat. Great, step the right foot forward. Straighten out the right leg, hamstring stretching. Mm -hmm. And then standing splits, up. Good, step back again, straighten out the right leg. Ardha Hanuman. Then push forward, standing splits. Sure, let's do two more. Step back, Ardha Hanuman. Open the hamstring, standing splits. Yeah, you see my head is getting closer and closer to my right leg. And last time, Yep, push back. Those of you who are working on fuller splits, take them five. Working on opening the hamstrings, four. Working on that, three. Yes, two. And one. Fantastic, downward facing dog. Push up and back. Why not? Yeah. Left leg lift, step the left foot forward in the lunge. Push back. Half splits, exhale. Mm -hmm. Standing splits, rock your body weight forward, push up. You've got to pull your face down. Got to pull your face down to your left leg. And step back. Half splits. 
Mm -hmm. Standing splits. I know you feel the hamstring opening. The whole leg is heaving up. Whole leg is heaving up. Good. Half splits. Back. So you've got a nice flat back. Notice I'm not, I'm not sitting. I am not sitting on the back foot. And standing splits. Push up. Sure, 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 sure. And then step back, half splits, full splits. Five, four, three. Just breathe into what you've got there, two. Gotta practice them regularly. That is the secret, and one. Right, good. Downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. I like it. Walk your heads back into another chair pose. Utkatasana. Up, up, up. Mm -hmm. Stand all the way up. Inhale. Hands on your hips. Right knee, rise. Right foot cross over top of the left thigh. Hands to the floor. Stretch down. Now keep this position and add the upper body like chair pose. Up, up, up. Stand all the way up, inhaling, exhale. Chair pose, standard chair. Up, up, up. Good, standing, inhale, hands on your hips. Cross the left ankle over. First, hands go to the floor because you're squatting. You're bending your right leg. You're squatting and bending the right leg. Then you add the upper torso like the chair pose, up, 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 which actually helps you sit further back. Helps you sit further back. And up you go, inhale, great. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands halfway out. This is your first chin balance. Right leg lift. When you walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out, Yes, floor, if you're out there, you have to squeeze your legs together. You can't have your legs fly out. You have to squeeze together. Upward facing dog, right on, downward facing dog. So some people are too flexible for the pose. Mm -hmm. Walk your hands back. Take the breath. Stand all the way up and healing. Good, hands on your hips. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to get there from the dancer's pose, right foot back, Natarajasana. Going to get all the way to your chin balance from here. Mm -hmm. Left hand to the floor. Mm -hmm. Keep the right leg extended up. Walk out. Squeeze your legs together. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. It takes a kind of incredible strength to do it. Mm -hmm. Stand all the way up and healing. Halfway up. And stand all the way up. And hands on your hips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see now the left leg's going to go back. Or sorry, we're just going to take the left leg back. So first without Nata Rajasana. First we're going to do it without Nata Rajasana. We're just going to find the hands to the floor. So it's almost like your upper body, well it is, your upper body falls into the floor, but you have to raise the legs. You have to raise your legs. Upward facing dog and downward dog. Right? Dig it. Walk your hands back. You know, your legs are actually quite heavy. Stand all the way up in here. So no matter how they uh, look, no matter how they look and no matter how floaty the action looks, your legs are heavy. You, so the legs have to activate themselves. Left foot back, not to adjust. The legs have to activate themselves, right? You have to, you have to push. Your, your legs need huge energy, not softness, because legs are heavy. 
So now hold on to the left foot, the right hand goes to the floor. So now you see your left foot is already quite high. So leave it there. Push it up to the sky, push up, push up. Then dive, push your left leg up. Then your chin down, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Woo Wow, Cecily, that's a lot of back bending. Mm-hmm, I know. Walk your feet to the center nice and wide. Take a goddess squat. Arms forward. Reach your arms forward. Well, that feels better. That makes your back feel better. Yeah. Wonderful. You're going for your crow pose. Bakasana. The crow pose. Five. Wiggle in. Four. Set. Drop into it. Three. Squeeze your legs, have energy. Squeeze the energy up to and one. Straight legs, forward fold. You have to tell your legs what you expect them to do. Mm -hmm. Squatting on toes. Take your hands back behind you. I I'm going to sit back, but I'm not going to sit on the floor. I'm going to sit back, but I'm not going to sit on the floor and I'm going to straighten my legs. Five, four. Three, two, and one feet come back in. The crow pose. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands back behind you and clench. You sit back if you lift your legs. Five, four, three, Two and one, bring it in. One more crow. Bakasana crow. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Sitting back. Now, this time I'm just going to try it. I'm going to be on my fingertips. Can you see that? I'm going to stay on my fingertips. I'm going to keep my head down and forward. Push back and straighten my legs. Five, four, whoops, ah, three. I haven't done that in a while. Two, I think you see what I was trying to do. And one, good. Roll back, roll forward, chaturanga. We'll do it next time. My fingers won't ready. Upward facing down, inhale, and downward dog, exhale. So good. All right. Right leg lift. Step forward. Lunge. Crescent warrior. Of course. Lace the hands back behind your back. Humble warrior. Of course. Three, two, and one. Hands to the floor. Stand all the way up. Inhale. Left side of the room, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg's going to lift, and the crescent warrior. Mm -hmm. And lace a hand behind your back, humble warrior. Mm -hmm. You are trying to get your head down to the floor, down to the ankle. And Chaturanga Vinyasa. Upward facing dog, downward dog. Mm -hmm. Right leg lift. Step into the outside. Oh, sorry, outside. Uh, left leg. Sorry, my bad. Left leg lift. Step into the outside of the left hand. All right, twist to the left, twist away from me. Inhale, drop both elbows. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Drop the back knee. Straighten your left arm, lift your ribs up. Take your right hand back. Grab your right foot. Five. Four. Well, squeeze the foot into you. Squeeze it in. Three. Draw it in. Three. Draw. 
draw the foot in. I know it burns. And one. Lift all the way up. Inhale. Place your hands on your hips. Reset. Right foot goes on the inside of the right elbow. Slide in. And the right hand palms up. Left arm up. And the fingers grip. Three. Two. Don't fall. And one. Good. Prasavita. Parottanasana. Face me. Standing all the way up. Inhale. Just take an easy peasy forward fold. Yeah. Just great. Breathe. We're getting a little bendy. Very, very back bendy tonight. Mm -hmm. Turn to the right side. Great. Left leg lift. Step to the outside. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> right leg lift. Step to the outside of the right hand. Twist the weight for me. Right arm goes up. Inhale. Both elbows drop. Big stretch. Then drop the back knee. Mm -hmm. Straighten out your right hand and lift up. Reach the left hand back for the left foot. There it is. Now draw it in. Pull this into your buttock. You have to open the quadricep just as much as you have to open your hamstring. Mm -hmm. Then release. Lift up. Hands on your hips. And reset. All right. The left foot goes inside the left elbow. Find the foot. Slide. Use your sweat. Slide in. Then the left hand is up. Hinge forward. Hinge forward. And then the fingertips touch. Five, four, three, two, yeah. And a one prasadita. Palatanasana, face me. Good. Stand all the way up. Inhale. And hands on your hips. Well, let's just do something that will feel like a treat. Right side, triangle pose. Left toes in, right toes out. Take the pose. Oh. oh, okay. Now you notice the wider you stand in triangle, the more the arm is going to intersect with the knee. Notice that? The, the hand is not going to go to the ankle. It's going to intersect with the knee so that you can make the vertical line. Right? Good, good, good. Come all the way up. Inhale. See, we're so big and broad and open already. These, this is a treat. Right toes in, left toes out. So we're just going to keep the body nice and open. Triangle pose on the left side. Spin up, no big deal, no big deal. You let your heart rate come down, it's all right. It's all right, check it out. Left side of the room, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Upward facing dog, inhale. Right on, downward dog, exhale. Well, your right leg's gonna lift, it's going to step forward. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna set up a rotated triangle. Rotate a triangle. Cross the left arm over. This feels like a real treat. Rotate through the ribs. Hey, raise the top arm. Turn your ribs. Let the heart rate come down a little bit. Feeling so good. I right, open your throat. Open your shoulders. Good, good, good. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Sure, why not? Upward facing dog and heel. Yes, and feels so good. Downward facing dog, exhale. Say, I want to give that good back bending in the beginning. Left leg lift, step the left foot forward, come up to the right side of the room. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Sure, upward facing dog. And then we're going to do a left side rotating triangle. Left leg lift, you know, step the left foot forward. Lengthen the legs, cross the right arm over, ribs, ribs turning, 
ribs, 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 ribs turning. Five, four, ribs turning. Three, armpits opening. Two, and all one. Chaturanga Vinyasa, yes. So, so, so fantastic. And down the door. Good, well bend your knees to the mat. Take the breath, come on down. Good, face me on toes. We do this quite often. The side crows, the side crow, twisting crow, side crow, all of this arm balances. And we keep working, keep working on them. It takes incredible upper body strength. And so as I was saying to a client the other day, it's, it's a ratio, you know, your body is very used to being strong on its legs, so much so that, you know, if you weigh 130 pounds, your legs don't know it. They're like, whatever, All right? And how do you know that your legs don't know it is that, that when you're carrying groceries or luggage, where do you feel it in your arms? Your arms are like, oh, 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 this luggage is heavy. Meanwhile, your legs are just doing their best, you know, they're going along. So you know, we know that the legs are strong. So if you wish to acquire arm balances, yeah, you've got to change the ratio and do so much upper body work so that your arms don't feel the weight of your body. Let me put it to you this way. A lot of people would think that it's something like 70% technique and 30% raw strength to do it, that's not right at all. No, it's 30% technique and 70% raw strength. It's not 80-20, you know what I'm saying? If a person has a strength to do something, they don't need to think about technique that much. Isn't it strange? Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. So let's come on up and face the left side. Rock back <clears throat> on your toes. This is your right arm. Put your right knee as high as you can inside your right armpit, as high as you can. Get your hands out nice and even, and then push up. Now, do not put your left knee on your left arm. Just straighten out your left leg. So now you see your right knee is on your right arm and your left leg is out. And both arms are nice and even. Then come on and squat back. That's it. That's what you want. Don't worry about the arm balance. You gotta get this, you gotta get this first. So left knee as high as possible inside the left armpit and the left arm. Even out your hands, but let your right knee out on the way. The right leg goes out of the way because the right knee doesn't have a job. Push in and then straighten out the right leg. Look how I'm up on the left toes. Look how I'm on my toes. And then come on down. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do it. Do it. Four more of those. Right side, single knee, modified, single leg crow, right side, up and out, and back, breathe. Left side, set, up and out, and down and breathe. Right side, set, up and out, and breathe. Left side, set. You have to get that set position. And breathe. Good, good, good. Have a seat. Knees up, hands out. Yes, and crunch, 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 crunch. Keep it going, crunch, 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 crunch. Keep it going, pull in, pull in. Pull in, eight, seven, six, pull in, five, four, three, grab your feet. 
Mm -hmm. Put your forehead on your knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right? Single leg crow. Single leg crow. Don't, where are you going? Don't go away. Don't go away. No, don't go away. No, 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 no. I see you. I can see you through the video screen trying to walk away. Going click pause. Now, the reason you have to remember, the reason why I can do this is because I practice it. So all I'm really doing in these videos is, is practicing with you. Don't convince yourself that you don't want to do the practice with me. So right knee high into the right armpit. Set. Up. Keep pushing, pushing through the right toes until the right foot comes up. And back. Breathe. If the right foot didn't come up, that's okay. Who cares? I don't care. You're, you're going to figure it out, but you're only going to figure it out by practicing it. You're only going to figure it out by practicing. Here's the set. Set. All right, rock forward. <laughs> I forget which leg is going up. <laughs> lift, lift your right leg and come down. Good, legs out in front and crunches. Crunch, the ability to pull your knees into your armpits is what's up. Crunch, crunch, Crunch. And meanwhile, your knees cannot be flopped open. Crunch. You have to squeeze in. Crunch. Crunch. If you're having trouble doing this, crunch. That, this is why you're having trouble doing the crow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't lose it, people. Crunch. Crunch. Listen to what I'm saying. Crunch. Crunch. You're having trouble doing this. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. You're going to grab your feet, right? Three. You're going to reach out and grab your feet. Two and one, reach out, there are your feet. Pull your knees in. Then place your forehead on your knees. Balance, balance. Pull in, five, four, three, two, and one, great. Sit up, face me. So I just wanted to break things out for you a little bit tonight. So you can practice. And then I see a lot of people will like, you have comments it, showing a picture, showing a picture of yourself and say, well, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Well, this is what I want to say. Yes, of course you're doing it right. But then I want to say, no, you're not doing it right at all. What do I mean? Well, what I mean is it's going to get better. <laughs> it's, it's going to get better. So don't worry about don't worry about taking the picture saying, "Am I doing it right?" Because it's going to get better. It's going to get deeper. It's going to get tighter, right? It's going, to, it's going to become more balanced and more easy. See this left elbow crossover? Make a prayer position. Twist. Look to the right. Make a prayer. You have trouble balancing here. You have trouble keeping your knees together. You're going to have trouble with twisted crow changing sides. Look at how the knees are pasted together. I push the knees over to the left. Look how far my head is away from my knees. My upper body is all the way over here and twisted. Then make the prayer position. Twist. Hug in. Hug in. Twist, twist. Three. Twist. Two. Yes. And one. Right? Great. Watch, stay with me, stay with me. Even folks who can do these poses, stay with me. You're gonna get your hands down. I call this the break dancer because it's the bottom leg. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be your right leg only and kicks out. The right leg kicks out and the left toes stay down. Three, the right leg kicks out, the left toes stay down. Two, and one, bring it in. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Over to the left, which means it's going to be the left leg that's going to kick out and the right toes are going to stay down. Must bend your elbows. 
You must bend your elbows. Let your head down and center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time to the right side. It's the full pose. Yes, look how much energy I put into twisting and pushing my body out to the right. Take the bottom leg first. Mm -hmm. Then both legs. Mm -hmm. Give a twist. Twist the body. Look towards me. You should be looking towards me. Right? And center. Good. And one more. Over, over, over to the right. Or sorry, to the left. Look how I'm looking towards you. Now, sometimes people get into something like this. You've got to work on leveling it out. Shin bones level. Right? And center. Whoa! You deserve some real nice stretching after that, don't you think? Let's scooch on forward, take a plow pose. Plow pose, legs up, over, and back. Mm. Nice. Place the hands on the lower back. Pull the belly button to the spine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. Take your right leg up. Mm -hmm. Place your left knee on your forehead, right smack dab in the middle of your forehead. And then push, so push forward. So your left leg has to squeeze in. The right leg has to push forward. Three, two, and one. Happy babies pose. Hold on to your ankles instead of your feet. Oh, gosh, let your, let your legs work out wide. Oh, oh, good. Let's do that again. So it's plow pose. Just a little, a little variation. We put a little nice, almost dance-like variation on it. So plow pose. Mm-hmm. And legs come in. Well, take now your left leg up. Look at how the leg pushes. So I'm calling it a push. I'm calling it a push, right? So this is my left leg. Look how I push it away from my nose. You don't want to get into this sort of slack, slouchy, piped position. You want to get into a very, very straight position, and that requires a sense of push. Then put the right knee on your forehead. Hold the position. Three, two, and one. Happy baby pose, yeah. Whoa. Very, 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 very good. All right, nice. Let's do can opener. Let's do the can opener. That means you're going to take your right leg up, cross it over your left thigh, figure four. Right foot is flat. Take the flat of your right foot down to the floor towards me. Use your right hand to push your right knee away from you. Oh, gosh, away. Now use your left hand, put it where your right hand is and push away and then open your right arm to the side, twist, twist to the right. This feels so good after all that back bending and twisting. Mm. Okay, final pose, can opener on the other side. Wriggle around, get yourself nice and even on your mat. This is your left leg, cross it over the top of your left thigh. Make your left foot flat, all right? Put the left foot down on the ground, flat. Use your left hand to push the left knee away. See that? Don't collapse it in, push it away. Then take your right hand, put it where your left hand is, and keep pushing away, and then open out your left arm towards me. And I'm feeling this all in the hip socket, across the sacrum, right? getting all that deep pocket of 
sinew, right? The hip socket is so, it, it's built, it's designed to be tight. It's designed to keep your leg in there. Good. All right, Shavasana. Yeah. Another person told me today, she said, oh, that's my favorite part. Yeah. You got your pillow. You got things that you need, Shavasana. Maybe you're thinking about a couple of poses that you could do once this class is over. Please take a moment and think about your restorative postures. Supta Baddha Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana on blocks. Both legs up in Sarvangasana. Bridges, you could do a bridge, supported bridge on blocks. You could go into an, an inversion. Hold your inversion meditatively. Otherwise, our time here has come to an end. Wonderful class once again. We just we just keep on chugging along. I do want to let you know that there is no longer a Saturday 12 noon Facebook Live. That is going to uh, uh, not happen. And there is no longer a Sunday 12 noon Instagram. So, so the uh, free classes, the Facebook Live, Monday, Wednesday morning, Tuesday, Thursday evening, Instagram Live Alignment Yoga, on Fridays at noon. So you still get five. Yeah. You can find all of the class listings on my website, cecilysyogaretreats.com. I so appreciate you subscribing and visiting there to see all of the new changes that I'm making for July. This is the Gayatri chant. The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you. And for that we say, Namaste.